Have you been looking for a four-door Ford that has a hybrid engine that gets 35 miles per gallon? Well, check out this episode of Queer for Cars as we look at the 2022 Ford Maverick small pickup truck. Hey there, it's William West Hopper from Queer for Cars. And today we're testing out the 2022 Ford Maverick. Now the model that Ford sent us to test out is truly the base model. You're not gonna find anything really fancy on this. There's not even uh, electric remote or even manual remote rear mirrors. You have to reach out and do the mirrors. But don't think that that makes a real difference between the actual value of this truck. This is an amazingly priced, value-filled little four-door car with a pickup bed. And I think you're gonna really like it. Car-based pickup trucks are nothing new, but the Ford Maverick, this is something new. It is right-sized with four doors, seating for five, four comfortably, a hybrid engine getting 35 miles per gallon, and best of all, a pickup truck bed. Yes, you can get a pickup truck bed with four doors, a hybrid engine, and all of that. And this base model, the Ford Maverick XL, is just a little over $20,000. So the Ford Maverick has a pretty basic interior. Uh, the dashboard is hard plastic, but it's got a nice finish to it. Lots of Kubi spaces throughout. Now this is the XL model, the base model, and you're not going to get really any bells and whistles at all. You will get, of course, uh, air conditioning and heating. You get the nice little screen there that's very controlled, and of course you get the hybrid engine, which is really very, very good. So you're not going to find anything like cruise control or things like that on this base model, but many people who drive uh, pickup trucks don't need that. Many people who drive small pickup trucks don't need that. They're just looking for something simple. Now, the things that I really like about this truck, I like the door handles. Um, I like the fact that the seats are very comfortable. Now, this XL trim has basic Ford fabric seats. These are really a tough fabric that you find in other Fords as well that you know you could have lots of dirt and things spilled on them and all that so and it wouldn't be a problem it'd be e pretty easy to clean or shampoo out so that's nice you do have USBs you have a USB-C and a USB-A here you really don't need a whole lot there's also a 12 volt outlet right here in the back which is which is nice if you need that seating in the Maverick in this base model is a very nice fabric material. The seats are very comfortable, very supportive. Both right front and left front seats are very comfortable. And the seats in the back are the same fabric and just as comfortable. There is seating for three, though it would be much more comfortable, I think, with just two in the back. But you could easily get five people total in this vehicle. Not a big fan of the sunglass holder, but that's there. You do have a makeup mirror, but it is not lit, and you have it on both sides. It also is a sliding sun visor, which I really like when you're driving, because you do like to be able to adjust that. And not a lot of cars have that, so that's something that's very special. So that's really very good. So in all, it does have Bluetooth capability, which is great. Um, it has apps that you can do, your find your mobile apps. But this, as I said, this is pretty basic. This one is the most basic of all of them. There's my phone. It does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now, if you look over inside there here in the center with a hockey puck gear shifter, which is great, uh, electric parking brake, it has the switch for mode. It also has traction control on or off. It has an electric brake hold there, so you can take your foot off the brake when you're at a stop sign. There are spaces down there for hold your phone. There is a space there for wireless charging if that is optioned in. It is not optioned in in this vehicle. So the overall interior of the uh, 2022 Maverick is pretty good. You've got hard surfaces for the uh, dashboard. Got a nice center console. Um, nice center display and real buttons for the HVAC. 
the driver's dash display is very simple and works quite well. Most of your older drivers are gonna feel really, really comfortable with. The only thing an older driver may not feel comfortable with is the hockey puck uh, round electric gear shift. The Maverick is a unibody construction, not a body on frame like you'd find in the F-150. It's also built of steel, not aluminum like you'd find on the F-150. Again, part of the reason that you've got a great price point. This uh, Maverick is built in Mexico. It has a really good build quality. I've been really impressed with that. Uh, you're going to see a lot of nice designs, aspects of it along the front of the vehicle. The black trim is great. Uh, classic Ford designs right here. Uh, you get the uh, simple line across the, the top here. And then along the back for the bed, got a plastic top. And that's to sort of help uh, with dents and other damages that you're going to get when people throw things on into the bed of the truck. So overall, pretty good on the exterior design of this Ford Maverick. Now size-wise, it's basically, you know, it's bigger than a small car, uh, you know, a mini car. You know, to me, this is sort of, um, you know, what, what a compact or above, I think even today, they would probably consider this a mid-size car. Uh, it has uh, plenty of room, you know, as an adult male. I could see two adult males in here without any problem. I could see three kids in the back on the bench seat. The rear has a bench seat to it, so it's pretty simple. There is no fold-down armrest in it. The seat, their back seat does fold up, and there is some storage under that back seat. So don't think for a moment that the Maverick doesn't have a real truck bed. This bed is as truck-like as any Ford or any other pickup you're going to have. What's nice, it has opportunities here for some modifications, a little spot here. You could put a um, board in here and make your own uh, bike rack. Uh, there are, there's threaded holes in here for bolts, there's drain holes, and there's, there's threaded holes along here as well for, for tracks. Certainly could put a tonneau cover on this one. This being the base does not have a bed liner, but you could easily do a spray-in bed liner. Now you also notice over here these black panels on the upper trim levels. There are electronics that go in there. Uh, also here on both sides, right and left, there's some um, areas that say 12 volt. You can get a little something to go in there and put a 12 volt outlet in there. There are tie down hooks here very well. Now the back of the pickup truck, there's no question this is a Maverick. It says Maverick right there, so it's great. No question it's a Ford. This Maverick is a great option as something that is inexpensive to buy, inexpensive to operate because of the hybrid gasoline engine. The Maverick has the 2.5 liter hybrid engine and it's pretty cool for what it is. There's not an engine cover on it. Uh, it fills the area. And what I find interesting in this engine compartment is that they've really used a lot of space here very well. Now you can upgrade this to, to a two liter EcoBoost engine, but why would you? I mean, this 2.5 hybrid engine is getting great mileage. It's got uh, pretty much everything you're gonna want in a small, vehicle like this. Now when you think about Ford and a hybrid engine, you know, you don't, Ford's not a brand that you think of for hybrid right away. But Ford has been putting hybrids out for a number of years. They've had a hybrid in the Escape, uh, and they've had a, a variety of small hybrid vehicles, uh, Fusion Hybrid, uh, and some others. So they are not um, new to the hybrid game. So don't think that that should be an issue for you to can be concerned about. So I'm thinking that this vehicle, as it stands, it is um, pretty much a um, I think it's a winner. I'm going to vote this vehicle up and put this vehicle on my personal list as a vehicle that I personally would buy. The hybrid engine is really where the extra tech on this car is. And at 38 miles per gallon and a $20,490 price tag, you're going to really like having the Ford Maverick. And it's a pretty quiet hybrid. Um, you've heard in some of my other videos where I go, hybrids sound like woodchucks chucking wood, chomping on wood or a wood grist mill or something. Not this one, yeah, you can hear it there, but it's not, 
outrageous. I think you can hear a little bit of it right now as we're driving around. So the drivability of it is good. It rides pretty well. I'm over some bumpy roads here in Rock Creek Park here in Washington, D.C. Um, yeah, you're gonna feel the bumps on it, you know, but it's not jarring. I mean, it is bumpy roads, but then again, it's just got a nice basic uh, suspension. Now, we haven't put a lot of weight back in the uh, bed of this truck, so can't tell you how it handles with that way. And I understand you can put a towing package on it, so you're gonna find with 35 plus miles to the gallon, but hybrid is the way to go, and it's gonna make this vehicle a great commuting vehicle for somebody who just needs a something simple and inexpensive and inexpensive to operate. This is a great option. Visibility is great. You have a nice view around it. This base XL model has manual uh, exterior mirrors, which is something that I don't think I've seen in years. So that's something that's strange. There's a day-night mirror right there, manual day-night mirror there. So basically, if you're looking for a car without a lot of tech in it and uh, that's going to get good mileage, then this might be an option for you. This car is a great answer to sort of basic transportation needs. I think you're going to see a lot of people picking this vehicle up for uh, their second or third vehicle or sometimes for somebody who is like a college graduate or something who just needs a car to get around or somebody who is commuting a good distance and wants a vehicle uh, with um, great gas mileage but pretty basic this is going to be it the 2022 ford maverick built ford tough just like the ford f-150 or ford ranger ford super duty it is just basically the little brother of the ford truck lineup or is it the big brother of the sedans or is it with a hybrid engine a sibling to the ford mustang mach e which is all electric i don't know but so let me know what you think in the comments below i want to thank you for watching this episode of queer for cars as we took a look at the 2022 ford maverick if you like this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of our future videos of car and truck reviews and stories about the automotive lifestyle until next time